Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever this greets you. A big hello from Matthew in Australia. My name is Matthew Robert Payne. This is going to be a series on the Beatitudes. Currently, I'm doing a series on Conversations with God, a, a, a book of uh, propaganda by a man perceiving to do four or five books um, that God spoke. I'm doing a series on the book of Revelations and I'm just starting a series on the Sermon on the Mount. This is the first Sermon on the Mount, first Beatitude. We just had the introduction. This is the first Beatitude. Matthew chapter 5 in the New King James Version, verse 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And I have to ask you guys, what is poor in spirit? What's poor in spirit? Are you poor in spirit? Is the kingdom of heaven yours? What is the poor in spirit? Who are those people? Are you one of them? I don't know if you can hear that bird outside. He's singing. It's uh, 24 minutes to 5 in the morning and I picked a quiet time to preach. Okay, the poor in spirit, these are the people who desperately need God in their life. These are the people who are in poverty of spirit without Christ. These are people that are desperate to have Jesus in their life. They need Jesus Christ. These are losers. <laughs> these are people that are no hopers. <laughs> These are people that have got no hope except for Jesus to work in their life. This is what the modern world would say, people who are using Christianity as a crutch. It's the sick, the maimed, the lame, the broken, the blind, the poor, the crippled, the hurting. These are all the poor in spirit. Can you be poor in spirit and poor? Yes, you can. <laughs> can you be prideful and poor? Yes, you can. Can you be a covetous person? Someone who covets everyone else's goods and be a poor person? Yes, you can. Can you have a haughty spirit and be proud and poor? Yes, you can. So poor in spirit has got nothing to do with being poor. Although there's quite a lot of poor in spirit people who are poor. Poor in spirit is to know that your life just wouldn't go on without Jesus Christ in your life. Many people live a pretty good life without Jesus in their life. Many people can get up in the morning and go to bed at night and not have had one thought of Jesus through the day. Many people outside of Sunday and a Wednesday Bible study don't really read the Bible, don't really spend any time with God and don't really do anything for God. A lot of people even when they're doing things for God are doing things in their own strength, in their own flesh, with their own skills, with their own abilities. There's not many pastors that would attempt to do a hundred teachings, ten minute teachings on the Sermon on the Mount without notes. There's not a lot of pastors who would sit down to teach on the Sermon on the Mount without copious notes. Sit down just with a Bible and teach. So what is the difference? Well, the difference is to be able to depend on the Holy Spirit, to need the Holy Spirit. Do I know enough information to spend 10 minutes on each beatitude, to spend 10 minutes on each verse? No, I don't think I do. <laughs> so how do I fill up each of the 10 minutes? I rely on the Holy Spirit to give me ideas, to give me illustrations. 
you know, there was one guy in in lived in a rubbish dump. I heard a story, I read a story, and uh, three nights a week he he uh, he used to uh, uh, search on the rubbish dump and find things that are pretty useful and used to sell them around the community that lived in the dump and in other communities and make a living. He ran home churches, like uh, churches in people's homes, three days a week. And, uh, and a good third of his money to half his money he was giving away to other poor people. He's a person who lives in a rubbish tip. giving away a third to half of his money. Now, this guy uh, came across an idea of uh, carrying water uh, from a pump that was good sanitary water and selling the water in his rubbish tip community. So he started to do that and he earned twice the money and uh, he found that uh, he could earn the same amount of money with uh, only four days work instead of seven days work. So he spent more time building his churches and home churches and did discipleship programs and Bible study programs with other people during the days that he didn't work. And there's the guy that was poor in spirit. His whole life revolved around Christ and the mission. He, even a guy who lives in the tip is giving away a third to half of his money to the poor. Does your life revolve around Jesus Christ? Oh, I know you could be saved and I know you could feel his forgiveness and you could feel blessed and feel like you're in his grace. But does your life count for Jesus? Have you got rewards in heaven? Are you building treasure in heaven? Would your life absolutely collapse if Jesus Christ wasn't there? Do you desperately go from day to day relying on Jesus Christ in your life? Or do you get on quite fine without him? The kingdom of heaven is for the people who can't live without Jesus, who need him all the time, who desperately need him. Heidi Baker says in Mozambique that she couldn't get through a day without miracles. She needs God to act supernaturally and sovereignly through miracles and signs and wonders just to get through a day. She said if God stopped acting supernaturally, she'd give up. She wouldn't go on. She couldn't go on. Without God doing the miraculous, she couldn't build and couldn't run her ministry. She spends two to three hours before she starts a day on her face in the presence of the Lord. There's a girl that serves the Lord, does mighty signs and wonders. She's poor in spirit. You can be very wealthy and poor in spirit. God can give you the ability to earn income and then you can sow a lot into the gospel. You can be poor in spirit in many ways. Most of all, poor in spirit is desperately needing Jesus. So why don't we pray a prayer? Lord, Jesus, God the Father, teach me what poor in spirit is. Lead me into a place and into some teaching that will show me more of what poor in spirit is. Bring circumstances in my life and bring my life to such a point where I need you to be in my life and to be part of my life. Bring me into a position where I'm desperately in love with you and desperately needful of you to act in my life sovereignly. Make me poor in spirit, dear Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'll see you in the next Beatitude. Hearts.